Hello all, welcome to Tech Forum. In this video, let us see how to use content fragment feature for managing copyright climber message for multiple websites in AEM. One of the challenge in AEM is managing copyright climber when there is multiple uh, sites hosted and sites require different copyright messages and may be in different languages. The message should be updated for every site individually. Uh, this required uh, more manual effort uh, when the number of sites hosted in the platform increases. The content fragment feature can be used to manage copyright messages from a central location for different websites. So uh, yeah, you can uh, refer this diagram. So in the right side we are defining the content fragment. So the default variation is master variation. So this can have the uh, default copyright message. So most of the sites can uh, refer it. Now if some cases we need a different copyright message or in a different languages, different variations can be created, variation 1, 2 and 3. So then each site, individual sites can refer the required uh, variation and content fragment. Site 1 is referring master, maybe site 2 variation 1, site 3 variation 2. So that association uh, can be established. Uh, so the copyright message um, uh, can be modified whenever required in the content fragment level. Uh, so once you change that uh, message in the content fragment level, the, the site will be autom uh, automatically updated. So um, let's see like what are the main uh, steps to achieve this. Uh, so we need to define a configuration um, uh, through the configuration browser and enable the content fragment. So we can use the existing one. Uh, so but um, like if you want to define the new one, uh, that also fine. Then define the content fragment folder. So we need to define a folder there all the all our content fragment will be uh, stored. So then we need to associate that configuration created in the previous step. Then we need to define the content fragment model uh, so to, to store the copyright message. So once um, the, the model is ready, we need to define the content fragment so and define the required variations. Then we need to associate the content fragment to the uh, website. For this, obviously, we need to change some uh, dialog configuration. So you can use multiple options uh, to associate. Maybe I should be associating through the uh, page properties. But if you want, you can do through uh, different options. You can use a uh, uh, I and add it to a parent component so that get integrated into uh, different uh, pages. Um, so there is multiple different options. Then we need to define a content fragment sling model. So what this model will do is it will fetch the co copyright message from the content fragment. Um, so obviously we are going to make the year, year value as dynamic so that we don't want to uh, change the messages when there is a change in the uh, every year. So then we need to associate this um, uh, content. Uh, yeah, this sling model will help you to fetch the data and that data will be used in the footer component. So obviously we need to do some changes for the footer component. Yeah, so uh, these are all the major steps. Let us see now how to uh, do this uh, one by one. So let me go to a uh, first step. So yeah, as a first step, I logged into the AEM uh, console. Um, so here, what I will do is I will go to this tools, general, and go to the configuration manager. So if you want, you can create a new uh, configuration, but I am going to use this uh, VRE tab. So then just edit this. So here you need to ensure this uh, uh, content fragment models, this option is selected. For my case, it's a, because it's an existing V retail one, so it's already selected. So I can uh, like uh, uh, proceed with the next step. So once that is done, now what we need to do is like, uh, maybe let me create a content fragment folder. So for that, what you do is go inside uh, navigation, assets, files. Yeah, now I created a folder called content fragments. So my, my content, uh, corresponding content fragment, copyright content fragment is going, going to be inside. You can uh, create any folder uh, uh, like as per the uh, requirement. So now one another step what you need to do is like uh, one, after creating this folder, you just edit it and go into the properties. So go into this cloud services. So you need to associate that configuration. So in my case, it is a conf v retail. So if you are creating a new custom configuration, associate uh, that uh, that specific configuration. So yeah, now now this step is completed. Now what we need to do is like we need to create a content fragment model. For that, go to uh, again here. Um, go to this one, tools, then assets. Uh, 
um, now go into the content fragment models yeah, so under the retail folder i created a uh, content fragment model so i can just edit it you can create a new uh, uh, content fragment model that i already just created so i will go and edit this and so it so i just drag and drop single uh, line text here so this is a single line text so i just uh, uh, put a field label copyright message then there is a property name copyright cf model data so give a unique name uh, uh, like whether this name will be used in referred in the sling model whatever we are going to define to fetch the data so copyright uh, uh, cf model data so what are the name you are giving here so that should be referred in the sling model so then if you want you can uh, select this required um, option max length um, all those properties you can do it so then you can uh, save it so uh, this configuration is uh, completed now what you need to do is like after this you need to define the content fragment so for that again go into this asset folder files yeah this is the folder uh, to in which i am going to define that i already defined a copyright content fragment while creating the content fragment you use the model whatever the model we define so uh, then um, i am going and editing this i will show you what kind of value so here um, i created um, if you see here like uh, uh, you can i given some title um, content um, copyright cf now if i go to this one this, this is the variation sorry the variation is here yeah so the master variation i kept the uh, default value maybe you can remove this update because uh, to ensure this data is coming from here so all rights reserved so there is no year value because this is uh, dynamic from the model now i created another variation called copyright spanish um, something typo there so i kept the spanish message here so if you want you can define multiple um, the variations here uh, either it is a different with a different message or in a with, with a different uh, language so now the variation is created so now what you need to do is like we need to uh, associate this to the site um, so uh, like a corresponding variation for that what we did is like what i did is um, i created a uh, i uh, i customized the dialog uh, for this uh, uh, page component uh, so that every page will have this uh, uh, additional option i can show you this Um, if you see here the copyright management, uh, you can browse it, uh, browse the CF, and uh, like uh, um, okay. Um, so uh, here um, browse CF, you can select the uh, uh, the content fragment uh, uh, defined, then the variation, whatever the variation. So it will list you the uh, existing variation, master and copyright, whatever Spanish is there. So also this is kind of restricted only to that specific folder. Uh, so what is what to that parent content fragment folder so under that whatever the content fragment is there you can select it right now associated for this site uh, copyright uh, uh, master variation so you should be able to see that uh, 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 master variation content now for that what i did is like i went to this apps folder then um, go into the retail components um, structure I went to the page, I created a dialog, then content, items, tabs, I, yeah, basic, so anyway, I, I customized that, so I changed the path here, like to refer my, uh, like tabs, basic tabs, so under tabs I created, now, somehow like for me this uh, overlay, over, uh, overlaying is not working, so what I did is like, I created all those uh, uh, tabs, maybe I, I might, might be doing something wrong. Here. Then along with the copyright management one, this is having uh, two additional fields. One is the uh, two fields. One is uh, copyright uh, uh, browser. Um, so this is the type um, coral foundation form path field. Then another one is this uh, uh, select field. So. So also like I given a some name here, so copyright CF data and copyright CF variation. This two, this both this will be used in the sling model, whatever we are going to use it. So now we are enabled the association. So now what we need to do is we need to fetch the data and display in the footer. 
so for that two things one is this we need to define a sling model so i define a sling model here so yeah this is the sling model um so what that is doing is some something like i define a copyright default copyright message if something goes wrong i'm attaching the symbol then uh, parent here then all rights uh, result so in any case this default message will be displayed the content fragment is to be uh, associated only to the uh, parent node um, so maybe in the language node level uh, and all the child node will inherit the properties the copyright the message from that uh, parent node so we are using this hierarchy node inheritance value map so whatever the value or the copyright message defined in the parent node uh, will get inherited to the child node uh, then after that in the init method uh, so here i am i am doing two uh, uh, two different approaches one is because like what i am seeing is there is a product defect uh, it could be uh, so whenever i use this uh, default or uh, like uh, this sample um, copyright sorry sample um, sling uh, content fragment model uh, the data is stored under renditions but whenever i use a custom model the data is stored under a data folder so there is something different so to um, uh, to support both approaches um, so you can see the logic here like if there where if the rendition is having the data so uh, i will be fetching from there if not like i will be fetching it from the uh, like a, a data folder uh, sorry data node so uh, this was, this is the name uh, we used uh, while defining the content fragment model so maybe i can show you that different um, i will go to this uh, 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 wherever the content fragment is defined so that's under dam folder you go under dam folder if you go under yeah we retail sorry not yeah say content fragments yeah. copyright cf if you go to this one so you can see a data here the master is having with the same variable name what we defined and uh, uh, this one the copyright spanning but rendition is empty but when you use a default uh, the sample content model so the data will be stored under the rendition not in the data so it looks to be is a product uh, defect so now this model uh, will fetch uh, the data uh, from the corresponding uh, like uh, content uh, fragment and the variations um, and pop and store it in, in this copyright message variable so once yes this is done uh, i already deploy this code now what we need to do is we need to display this in the footer so for that what we need to do is we need to change the footer component so we will go under apps we retail uh, open this footer uh, component i just modified the we retail footer dot st component so i defined a new model here copyright management core models copyright management model the copyright model variable so then i replace the existing wherever the copyright uh, model was sorry copyright data was displayed with this data copyright model copyright message and context equal to html so because we are using the copyright symbol here so we need to ensure this context equal to html so yeah now the setup is ready so what we did, did is like uh, we did define the content fragment model then content fragment with the required variation then changes to associate the um, content fragment and variation to the website and the uh, required sling model and uh, footer.html change now we now we are ready to test it so what i will do is i will go to the this page and i will associate first maybe i think i have already shown that yeah i associated this with the master so that's fine i will cancel this now if i go to the bottom if you see here all rights is up uh, updated this is coming from the master version so if i want to do a change i will again go to the uh, properties Sorry. and I, I will go and select this uh, spanish so this can be used for multiple website with multiple language or any any variations required so if i go down now yeah this is like uh, the spanish version so but if you if you any anything you want to update you don't want to update in the individual pages what you can do is you can just go to this and just update it maybe update it now save this okay, if i go again and refresh this page if i go there this update 
okay um so so that like uh, using this what you can do is you can manage your all copyright like let's say you have hundreds of website so you want to uh, have a different variations and a different language specific copyright messages so you can utilize this approach uh, so that uh, but one thing is like here like whenever there is a change so you need to clear the dispatcher cache uh, because the most of the pages will get cache in the dispatcher so to get this uh, reflected maybe every year every start of every year so we need to clear the cache so even you can avoid that maybe uh, building some like enabling this something with uh, sdi's link dynamic include so that will create another problem like every time um, um, the request will come to publisher so uh, there's a reason maybe cache clearing will be a easy option okay uh, so uh, again that this demo is built on aem uh, 6.5 um, uh, version so uh, i will be uh, posting the uh, all this uh, content related to this demo uh, into the repository and the url uh, can be uh, found in the description um thanks all thanks for watching uh, see you in the next video